welcome to the channel. I am Jake. I'm very happy you tuned into the video today. In this video, I'm going to show y'all what I look for when I'm searching out fatwood. And this tree right here is an excellent candidate to find some. Uh, it's a nice yellow pine. This one particularly is Virginia pine. Uh, but it has fallen. And importantly, most importantly, it died before it fell. And I know that because, look up toward this end, uh, there are very few needles, very few cones, and the bark has started to flake off. So, I'm fairly certain that this died a long time before it fell, and also you know, lots of these dead branches here. It's very dead. So I'm pretty certain that this fell quite a while after it died, which is ideal. Now. This one specifically is Virginia pine. Virginia pine is very common all throughout the eastern U.S. But the most important thing when looking for fatwood is to find yellow pine. Uh, other species of conifers, or other groups of conifers, I should say, uh, can and will produce fatwood to some degree. Uh, cedars or junipers, um, white pines, uh, fir uh, firs and spruces, they will all produce some fatwood, but yellow pine is best in my opinion. Uh, and the way to tell a yellow pine very simply is to look at the number of needles in each fascicle or bundle. And there should be two or three, but no more than that. If you see four or five, and it's usually going to be five, uh, that will be a white pine. And that can be fine, as I said, but two to three needles is going to be your best bet in my opinion. Uh, in the eastern US there are different species you can look for. Uh, as I mentioned this one's very widespread uh, but there are other ones down in the deep south you might look for loblolly or longleaf pine. Uh, in the mid south maybe shortleaf and Virginia. Over in the mountains southern Appalachian region uh, maybe you want to look for table mountain pine or pitch pine. Uh, up north toward the lake states and on up into the northeast in New England area. Maybe red pine, jack pine. Out west, uh, you might look for uh, lodgepole pine or Monterey pine. Uh, there are lots of different pinion, right? Uh, but all of those are yellow pine species and they will produce nice fat wood. So, now I'm gonna cut into one of these branches here. I'll probably just do this one that I broke, but I'm gonna bring the camera over a little bit closer so you can see uh, what it looks like as I cut through it. As you may notice, a, t a change in the color and I suppose texture, consistency of the sawdust that comes out of the cut. So I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to cut this branch right here. There we go, I got that in pretty close now and I apologize if the camera moves as I'm doing this because there are a lot of branches and brush on the ground that I cannot avoid. But Go ahead and get into this. I'm going to get this out of the way. Because that's going to be... In the way as I cut this. Here we go. Now then. So nice and white. Fairly floaty. Right? It's blowing in the breeze. All that dust that's coming out of the off the outside there, but as I get down further into it, you should notice, let me catch some of this. There we go. Nice white, or not white, yellow sawdust there, and it sort of sticks together. It's just a little bit thick, if you will. So, good stuff there. Go ahead and cut this off. Actually, I'm going to do this first so I can show a difference here side by side. See lots of sawdust flying everywhere. There we go. Because there's very little fat wood in that. But this seems like a pretty good piece right here. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. So let me set the saw down there. And I'm going to point the camera down so it's about to move. Here we go. 
And then if you notice the color difference there in those two pieces. The one on the bottom was further down on the branch, like so. There we go. I think it was like that. It was right there. And then this one was connected right to the trunk there. So, really good stuff. Now I'm going to move the camera back out, and I'm going to talk a little bit more. And there we have it. Nice piece of fat wood there. Very, very dense, very heavy. Alright, because it's full of resin. So fatwood is essentially concentrated pine resin. And I mentioned that it is ideal for the tree to have died before it fell because that resin is what is flowing through the tree while it lives. And when it dies, when some portion of the tree dies, that resin will pool, gravity will pull it down into a place where it can concentrate and pool where it can't go any further. This branch junction right here where the branch meets the trunk is an excellent place to find it because when a branch dies, it essentially shuts off all flow of uh, fluids and nutrients and, and everything that flows through a tree from the branch to the trunk and vice versa. Right? So it shuts it off completely and that allows that resin to just stop, sit there, collect, concentrate, and harden into this right here. And uh, this actually, if you notice, uh, was uh, somewhat of a caramel color or amber color uh, because amber is essentially fossilized pine resin. So it smells really, really good too. Um, a lot of people will go for the roots and that is certainly a good place to find quality fatwood, but I tend to like to go for the branches just because they're easy to get to and there are usually a ton of them. Right, just right here, there's one, two, three, four. The one I just cut was five. This one would have had some in it. That's six, seven right there. In this one little two and a half, three foot section of log, you can get seven of these, which will split out into enough fat wood to make, oh, if I split that in quarters, each quarter, you could probably, I could probably use that to light four to six fires. All right, so that's a lot of fire making material in this one little section right here that's very easy to get to, very accessible. So, here we go. That's fatwood in a nutshell. That is one place to find it is in the branches of a fallen dead tree. There are other places you can find it. And that will be another video, another time, because this is the only good fatwood candidate that I have seen in this little piece of woods that I'm wandering around in right here. So. Another video for another time, but I believe that is all I have for this video today. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe, leave a comment down below, all the things. If you feel so inclined, I would definitely appreciate it. And until next time, go forth, enjoy yourself, and always come home safe.